The PlayStation 5 first launched on November 12, 2020 in North America and Japan before becoming available worldwide on November 19th. It was highly sought after, and almost one year later, with 13.4 million units sold, it shows no signs of being anything less. Despite high-profile delays like God of War Ragnarok, Horizon Forbidden West, and Gran Turismo 7, the PS5 has seen a number of excellent releases, from big exclusives and compelling third-party titles to enhanced versions of beloved classics. It serves as a strong reminder on the importance of games for a console's success. One year later, we're looking back on the 25 best games released thus far for the PS5. So without further ado, let's get into it. Hades Hades is many things. It's a showcase of supergiant games' deft character writing, with a litany of well-written characters based on Greek mythology, each with hundreds of lines and dozens of interactions. It's an incredible roguelite, which balances its progression with the story, slowly unraveling more plot details with each escape attempt. But most importantly, it's a great action game, with stellar variety thanks to boons and weapon upgrades that you want to jump into again and again, especially at 4K60 on the PS5. Demon's Souls Bluepoint Games' portfolio of remakes over the years has been impeccable, but Demon's Souls is truly a masterpiece. Using From Software's original title as the base, it boasts completely revamped environments and vastly improved character models. With tons of new effects and support for 4K and 60 frames per second in different modes. There are no changes to the core gameplay, though, meaning that diehard fans can revisit the original in all of its glory and face agonizing death once more. But hey, at least you can admire Flame Lurker in more detail before being cut down. Final Fantasy VII Remake Intergrade Heavily requested by fans throughout the years, Final Fantasy VII Remake didn't just adapt the original, it expanded on it with new cutscenes and sequences, an excellent adaptation of the ATB system, and some stunning visuals. Intergrade further improved on this release with high-resolution textures and improved effects while introducing photo mode and a 60 frame per second option. It also included Episode Intermission, an expansion with infamous ninja Yuffie Kisaragi infiltrating Shinra on her own parallel mission, making this the definitive version of the remake. Deathloop Arcane Studios' first-person shooter, which combines the sandbox design of Dishonored with fast-paced combat and some roguelike elements is quite the interesting title in a number of ways. While many aspects leave a lot to be desired, the shooting, exploration, and sheer attention to detail in the environments can be quite involved. There's some satisfaction to be had on completing a perfect loop and slaying all of the visionaries with a fully kitted out arsenal, but exploring each region and uncovering all of the little details can also be fun in its own right. Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut Sucker Punch Productions' excellent open-world action-adventure gets even better with Ghost of Tsushima's director's cut, along with the Icky Island expansion, which offers a brand new region with new story missions, gear, and abilities. It also adds PS5-exclusive features, like DualSense support, full Japanese lip-syncing, and dynamic 4K targeting 60 frames per second. Of course, the base game is still incredibly fun, whether one is wrestling with Jin's inner demons and freeing Tsushima from the Mongol invasion, or casually roaming the fields and chasing foxes. Plus, there's Legends Mode, which continues to offer some great co-op action. Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart A brand new adventure with our favorite galactic heroes, Ratchet & Clank, is already too enticing to pass up. But Rift Apart goes even further, employing the PS5's SSD and hardware to deliver a true dimension-hopping experience. One moment, you could be traversing through the duo's home city, and in the next, battling pirates on a ship when you're not shifting to the new character Rivet's perspective. New traversal abilities like wall running and dashes, a bevy of new and returning weapons, and a whole range of incredible planets to explore make this one of the best platformers of the year. The Neo Collection Having Neo 2 remastered the complete edition on PS5 with its base game and three expansions from the sweeping storyline of half-human, half-yokai warrior Hyde across 1500s Japan to extensive new game plus modes and post-game content is already great enough. But the Neo Collection also throws in Neo 1 Remastered with all of its expansions and updates, plus a cool new photo mode feature. 
All of this plus the ability to play Neo 2 in 120 frames per second in dynamic 4K on the console makes the collection a must-have for action RPG fans, at least those seeking a challenge. Astro's Playroom Though seemingly an impressive demo for the PS5's various technologies, Astro's Playroom is so much more. It's a fully developed platformer with unique mechanics that utilize the DualSense's haptic feedback, adaptive triggers, and motion controls, while being fairly laid back and enjoyable. Moreover, this is an incredible tribute to the history of PlayStation with tons of references to key franchises and previous consoles, and it's completely free, bundled with the PS5 from launch. Kena Bridge of Spirits Developed by a relatively small team at Ember Lab, the production values of Kena Bridge of Spirits are perfectly in keeping with an animated film. Of course, there's plenty to love in terms of gameplay, whether it's exploring the expansive world and eliminating the corruption plaguing it or interacting with the rot and customizing their looks. If a traditional single-player action-adventure with a well-paced, compact narrative is your thing, then Kena Bridge of Spirits delivers. Fist, Forged in Shadow Torch Set in Torch City, which is occupied by the Machine Legion, the story focuses on Rayton, who ventures forth to rescue a friend. Armed with a heavy mechanical fist and eventually a drill and a whip, players explore the grim dark alleyways and tunnels of Torch City, battling tons of unique enemies and bosses. Atelier Ryza 2, Lost Legends and the Secret Fairy Taking place several years after the first game, Atelier Ryza 2 offers several improvements to the crafting system, real-time tactics combat and exploration. Otherwise, it's a brand new adventure as Ryza ventures to the city of Asha Amber to help investigate some ruins with Tao and Buzz, which naturally spirals into something bigger. With more in-depth character development and stronger storytelling, Atelier Ryza 2 is an improvement over the first in nearly every way. Bug Snacks from its very debut, Young Horse's Bug Snacks made an impression with the Half Bug Half Snack theme song. Playing as a journalist venturing to Snack Tooth Island in pursuit of explorer Lisbert Megafig, players encounter 100 different species of bug snacks, which must each be captured in different ways to bring Lisbert's grumpuses back to Snacksburg. From its cheery visuals and cutesy bug snacks to body horror, Bug Snacks is an experience unlike any other. God of War 2018. Santa Monica's sequel-slash-soft reboot was already a masterpiece on PS4 thanks to excellent combat, incredible level design, and epic boss fights, but the PlayStation 5 only further reinforces the gorgeousness of Midgard and the sheer visceral nature of slamming the Leviathan Axe into foes. PS5 players can experience the game in 4K60, and while it might not be as feature-packed as the upcoming PC version, this is still the best way to experience Kratos' greatest adventure ahead of Ragnarok. The Last of Us Part 2 Much like God of War 2018, The Last of Us Part 2 scored top marks when it launched for the PlayStation 4 and received a free update for PS5 support. Along with support for the DualSense's haptic feedback, it supports a locked 60 frames per second frame rate and 1440 resolution. Even the loading times have been improved, though they're not super optimized for the PS5's SSD. Overall, one of the best-looking games ever made looks even better, and this only improves the brutal gameplay experience and somber storytelling all the more. Tales of Arise While Tales of Arise had its fair share of hype before release, no one could have predicted that it would sell 1.5 million units in less than two months. The epic tale of Alfin and Chione, who venture across the land to slay the five Renan lords and free Donna from oppression, offers some incredible production values in both cutscenes and gameplay. The combat is also incredibly addictive, with boost strikes, counter-edge, and much more adding to the depth. On PS5, players can opt for 1620p at 60 frames per second in performance mode, or 4K60 in quality mode, with some drops when combat gets heated. Genshin Impact MiHoYo Games' free-to-play open-world action RPG feels at home on PS5 with its lush environments and anime-esque characters looking sharp in 4K60. While the gacha element might not be to everyone's liking, there's no denying the sweeping narrative spread across multiple regions. The fun combat system, which combines elements and statuses, or the extensive amount of content and activities. It even recently received a fishing minigame. What's not to like? Guilty Gear Strive 
As the grand finale to the series' long-running story, Guilty Gear Strive also offers a brave new direction, changing many of its fighting mechanics in favor of a more streamlined system. There's still plenty of depth to be had, though, whether it's managing the use of Roman cancels and instant blocks or the new wall breaks. Visually, the game has never looked better, and the cast, with its returning characters and new additions, like Nagori Yuki and Giovanna, is excellent. Returnal Combining the high-octane shooting action of Housemark with cosmic horrors, roguelike gameplay, and a gradually unfolding plot, Returnal feels like much more than the sum of its parts. As Selene, players traverse Atropos, seeking the mysterious White Shadow signal while attempting to survive against its many foes. The action can be incredibly tense, but satisfying thanks to a bevy of solid weapons and upgrades, not to mention tools like the blade and grappling hook. As players explore the massive regions of Atropos, discovering audio logs from other versions of Selene, Returnal's true plot unfolds in truly horrifying and saddening fashion. Chikori, A Colorful Tale Developed by Greg Lobanov, who is previously of Wondersong, Shikari, A Colorful Tale is set in a world bereft of color. As an anthropomorphic dog named Pizza, or whatever food the player chooses, one has to fill color into the world of Picnic using a magical brush. But there's more to the game than just puzzle solving, as serious themes are also explored against the backdrop of creativity. It's a lovely adventure, and one that definitely warrants a look. Death Stranding Director's Cut while not technically a director's cut, as per creator Hideo Kojima, this version of Death Stranding definitely feels like its most complete version. The story of Sam Bridges and Bibi, as they travel across the United States of America to reconnect it, is still equal parts bewildering and mystifying. The director's cut adds on to this, with new tools like the Buddy Bot and Cargo Launcher, a firing range for testing weapons, a racetrack, and even some new stealth-oriented missions in addition to 4K and 60 frame modes on the PS5. Marvel's Spider-Man Remastered It's crazy to think just how impactful Marvel's Spider-Man has been since launch setting the current bar for superhero titles since its launch. Its massive open world and excellent traversal mechanics, not to mention the fun combat, are definitely the highlights. But its characterization and plot are equally strong, making us feel for these characters despite seeing so many iterations of them already. The remastered version further improves on the original, with new suits, 4K60, and ray tracing, and a brand new face for Peter Parker. The Pathless the world is in danger, and a curse from the Tall Ones island is to blame. As the hunter, players venture to the island to purge this curse and become embroiled in a battle with the Slayer, which has corrupted the Tall Ones and seeks to end the world. With the help of the Eagle, the hunter ventures forth, traversing the landscape with her bows and arrows to build up speed, avoiding lethal spirits, and activating obelisks to solve puzzles. Stellar presentation and unique movement mechanics help the Pathless stand out, and it looks fairly stunning on the PS5. Sackboy A Big Adventure Spinning off from the Little Big Planet series, Sackboy A Big Adventure is a 3D platformer with an overhead perspective and stronger narrative focus. It sees Sackboy journeying to free the Sack people of Loom from a tyrannical Vex and become a knitted knight in the process. With different moves and tools, some fun customization and cosmetics, and a strong variety of levels, Sackboy A Big Adventure can be great fun, whether playing solo or co-op. Marvel's Spider-Man Miles Morales While not as large-scale as the original, Marvel's Spider-Man Miles Morales still delivers an incredibly compelling story. It focuses on Miles growing into his role as Spider-Man, while also trying to protect his community from the conflict between energy company Roxxon and the mysterious Tinkerer. Along with even better visuals than the first game, Miles Morales offers several new suits, new Venom Blast powers for its combat, and Spider-Cat, which automatically makes it a win. The Pedestrian Amid all of the platformers released this year, Skookum Arts' The Pedestrian is definitely one of the more unorthodox. The player essentially navigates the world as a character inside of street signs. Linking together different signs and shifting them around is key to progressing, though various devious puzzles can make things difficult. All in all, The Pedestrian is upbeat and fun while doing its own thing. That's all for now. If you enjoy what you saw, please hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, now is a great time to subscribe.
we upload brand new videos every single day. After subscribing, don't forget to enable all notifications by clicking the bell icon. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you next time, right here on Gaming Bolt.